Let us be positive with Matt Gunn out of Twizel. He's always positive. He's got plenty to talk about. And he's just come back from a weekend in Dunedin. Go on, Gunny. Twizel was even 12 degrees on Saturday night or something. He said he woke up at 3 a.m. Was... Come on, mate. We've got so much to be positive about the All Blacks and Warriors. Mate. Come on. Let's be positive. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. I will. No negativity. None. Let's be, be positive. positive. That's right. LBP. LBP, pal. Let's be, be positive. positive. No better time, no better place than a Monday around about this time, quarter past five, twenty past five or so, where he joins us from Twizel. And what a weekend to be positive about, Matt. You've won the Commonwealth Games. You are the Commonwealth Games champion. You won 958 separate gold medals. I don't even think they had that many events, Australia. No, I didn't know we, how could we win that many medals either, Martin. But what a magnificent performance from Australia. Did you, did you see that message I sent you last week where, oh, I don't know if it was Wednesday or Thursday, stuff decided to drop Australia and England from the medal table yes. <laughs> and New Zealand was winning. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's how we do things here in New Zealand. It's the same as when the Prime Minister goes to America and she said, we've solved gun crime. Well, yeah, I mean, if you just well, say it, what... people start believing it. That's why a stuffed sports award means so much, Martin, because <laughs> if the narrative isn't good enough, they just drop the two best nations from the Com Games. All right, get it out of the way and get it out of the way early. Let's be positive about the All Blacks. What have you got? All right. Um... <laughs> oh, sorry, Martin. No, I've looked for the positives, and there aren't too many, are there? Whoa. Absolutely pantsed on the weekend, and the score may not actually reflect no. how beaten they were. No, true. I'm just glad. I'm just glad that the CEO is there to help Fozzie out for the next seven or eight days before they come home. Before he gives him the uh, letter of um, <clears throat> "Don't come next Monday." How about that? What's going to happen when they come back? They can't sack him while he's away. No, that's the thing. They can't. How about that? I mean, you've been in situations before. We've worked for the same employer, been sacked by the same employer. Can you imagine all of a sudden that guy being in the hotel room next door as you're standing in the lobby waiting for breakfast? You're gonna you're gonna tip a coffee over him at some stage, aren't you? It's it's the only thing you can do. The power imbalance is so out of whack. He needs a coffee in his lap. You start a food fight. That's what you do, <laughs> don't you? You're at the buffet and you fling some scrambled eggs on the guy. I mean, why is he there? Because he's a donut well, he got merchant, some mate. On. He's a donut. It's the most inappropriate place for him to be at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Because everybody knows what's coming. Yep. Yeah, he's just look oh, at look, I mean, he's not the long knives, mate. You wouldn't want to be Ian Foster. No, you, you wouldn't want to be Fozzie at the moment. No. Um, it, uh, to be honest, I don't know if it's the game plan or if it's the players. I don't know if they're able to bring it together, but they certainly haven't looked like even if they had the world's best game plans, they would have won the last few matches, no. would they? No. And it's a bit disappointing. I mean, look, what do you do? You've just got to go back to the drawing board. And what I spoke about it the other day, maybe the message just does need to come from someone different. Maybe they all need a bit of a shake-up because we all know when the new boss comes in, everybody who's pretty comfortable at work, they even even if even if they're the top paid performer, they all get a little bit nervous. And I and I think maybe that's what needs to happen. Is it too close to the World Cup? Probably not. Do you see them getting better before the World Cup as no, it currently no, sits? No, no. I, I think, no. I mean, the reality is, I, I think the writing's on the wall. and But South Africa, at home, always hard to beat anyway. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, you know, you've you, you got to be fair about it, but going over with a team that has underperformed, um, you know, it was a bit of a dream for them to win that first match. Well, okay, and, well, okay. Geez, well, let's, uh, yeah. I mean, what do you say if they win the second? Well, I'd say Yahoo for a start, and I'd celebrate, and I'd, I don't know mm. what would happen from there, but at least I'd, I'd take the bloody win. We've lost five out of the last six. However, looking at the Warriors' results, the Warriors have also won one out of the last six, Matt. But at least, at least they've got a new coach coming. I tweeted out this afternoon. I said, Andrew Webster, I don't know, know you, but just as a good friend of yours already, Andrew, Pull out the old, I didn't realise the team was based in Auckland line and ditch it now, mate. Do it's the otherwise your career really it's your dead. career is dead if you come here. Don't come here. Well, I'll tell you what, Stacey Jones face said it all oh, on the boy, weekend, didn't, didn't it? Just I mean, to see a legend of the game look that dejected in the box, it's a little bit heartbreaking, Martin. It's not I mean, his no fault, mate. He, him to win he, on the weekend, let's be fair. This is the worst However, hospital pass in world sport, and he took it. for the, He took the tackle for that team because he loves the club so much. The club does not deserve to have Stacey sitting in that seat. Does not. 
And that's, I think that sums it up perfectly. You know, a guy of his character knew there was nowhere else to go, and he put his hand up. He, put he his said, hand look, up. I'll, I'll do it, yeah. knowing exactly how it was going to look for him. And uh, the team he's got at the moment, they don't play together. Reading stories last week, they're arguing on the field amongst themselves. I mean, what's he to do? I mean, he, he you know, if he'd won 10 grand finals, I'd still doubt that he'd be able to pull this bunch of guys together, even though they've got the best culture in rugby league. Matt, they didn't want to sorry. get. They didn't want to get physical. He said, "I'm sorry, but isn't your job getting physical? Isn't that what you're paid to do? Because if it's not, go and get another job. And I tell you what, it won't be at the same pay. And and the, and your Instagram followers are all of a sudden going to desert and go to somebody else. No one's going to give a stuff about your fancy haircut and your silly tattoos anymore. You're just going to be a guy earning twenty bucks an hour pumping gas, mate. Not that there's any disrespect in that, but I'm saying." These guys have got it too easy. How many of them... Look, what I'd do is I'd, I'd have them all queuing up. I'd pay them in cash this week, and I'd have them all queuing up there for their pay packet. And as they come in, i go, no, no, no. And give that money to the fans, mate. Give that money to the people who pay the ticket prices. The dummies are going to come along on Friday night to watch your mob. The reason guys like you and I don't play rugby league, Mark, is because it's physical. Yes. So if they don't want to get physical, what is it they want to do? Do they all want to get into broadcasting? <laughs> do they all want to get into running a distillery? Yeah. I don't know what they want to do, but I've still got to carry around 25 kilo bags of grain. Yes. So it's at least more physical than they were on the weekend. It's going to be a sad finish for the Warriors. But as I said, I've been whittling down those wooden spoons. Don't you worry about it. We'll be ready to go. I know you will. Come the end of the season. Can't wait. I can't wait. We'll be ready to go. Don't worry about it. That's positive. I'm on top of it. Matt Gunn has been positive out of twice. When he says brewing, he resurrection distillery is, is the place. Resurrection distillery like the Lord Jesus Christ with his arms in the air ascending to heaven. Resurrection distillery. Let's be positive about your shopping trip to Dunedin, where I was saying on air before that the difference between men and women fundamentally is that women can go into a shop and it's interesting. Us men, I'm either going in there because there's something in there I want, like a pair of jeans, and I go straight for those jeans, or I don't go in. It's the, Okay, that is the fundamental difference. However, you're an unusual man that you will go shopping with your wife and daughter and also look through the, every item in the shop. Or not. Well, no, no, hang on. Hang on. That's not exactly... Okay, well, hang on, let's just back exactly the track. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let's just rewind <laughs> it. Just a little bit. Okay, sorry. Just a little bit. Okay, so you explain right. the okay. experience. Tracy's birthday on the weekend, so we decided to take her away. All right? We went down to Dunedin. We went to the Rock Tennis, which was the best part of the weekend. 70s, 80s rock and roll by five tenors in a theatre in Dunedin with a six-piece band. It was absolutely Brilliant. magnificent. Uh, the the rest of the weekend, though, was spent shopping. Oh. And uh, as you have said before, I'm not the most patient guy. <laughs> Sitting out the front of jewellery shops uh. or dress shops uh. while the girls don't go for a browse. They go to inspect every item in the shop. So it's not like, well, duck in here will be a couple of minutes. Each shop seems to take an hour and 20. And I'm just sitting around. I'm that guy in the mall sitting on the chair, which is only there for men and old people to sit and wait for their wives and daughters while they go shopping. The worst part, I think, though, is when they spend an hour and 20 in there, you've run out of data on your phone, so you can't be Googling anything anymore. And then they walk out and they want you to be pleased about every item that you then have to look at, yep. nod approval of, yeah. and say how fantastic it is that they've made you sit out in the hallway for so long. Absolute nightmare. At one point, <laughs> I got up absolute, went for a massage. Absolute nightmare. I, I went up, went downstairs, went downstairs, I got a massage, came, but they didn't even know what left the chair. <laughs> That was my weekend in a nutshell, but the rock tenors were fantastic. Yeah, the rock tenors were fantastic. The always amazing. The food was great. One other thing, Martin, I walked into an Italian restaurant on Friday night. Yes. And this young waitress, she said to me as I was walking to the table, love your sixes. Your what? And I wasn't quite sure what she said. She had a mask on. Love I your what? I sat down. Love your sixes? Oh, well, I, well, she said, I love your sixes. I sat down. I said to my wife, did you hear that? That gorgeous young lady said to me, she loves my sexiness. Oh. She said, no, no, she's talking about your Air Jordans that I bought you from the op shop last time for $5. The young girl had recognised my shoes. I thought she'd notice me, but she was looking at my feet, Martin. That was my weekend, along with the shopping.
Matt Gunn, always positive out of twice. Well, thank you so much for that. It has just gone 5.31. So we'll break. We'll have a little bit of news headlines. Resurrection Distillery. Please jump on Facebook, people, and have a look at this. Resurrection Distillery, R-E-S-U-R-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. And Matt's brewing at home. He does this for free for us. And so I just want to give him a little bit of a plug for Resurrection Distillery. If you can follow him on Facebook, give him a like or something would be brilliant for us.